What's happening, YouTube? This is your boy Detox Everything back with another video. This is again Star Trek Big Command. Uh, this one I'm gonna call you. I want I'm gonna still keep the same title. Don't make my mistake with this one. Uh, should make my mistakes. <laughs> so on this one, I'm just showing you some quick PvP action. Again, I'm not very good at this game, but what I wanted to show you is if you go kind of scroll through my screenplay when you get to like the 250 minute mark you'll see where I hit someone and then uh, my new strategy is when they come out their base when they go to chase me from hitting them I cloak afterwards most people come into the uh, locations already cloaked but I don't cloak until I hit someone and they're chasing me then I cloak now on this video though, I got my uh oh, got me some toast. So I'm riding my Centurion and I got Gyron as the captain. I got HG Wharf and Lork on the sides. So I'm doing this in territory capture. Um you can see some glitches in the game too. Where yeah. I'm sure we all experience where you lock on to somebody and the ship be like way over there and they're still saying it take be twenty seconds before you get over there. So I got some of that also in here where you'll see that. Um, also when you get to like the four minute mark, uh, when I say like I had the cloak, you'll see at the 250 where I cloaked to get away and then I moved to their next like a uh, hub and the dude who chased me, he's in the next hub, like so now he got his enterprise out. So I stayed cloaked, I just hopped to the next one and then I hit a few more people and we had some type of server war. Alright, so, but we're having some type of server war at this point. I don't even know what it's about, but we beefing with some people, so I'm letting them have it. Now, uh, I got another video that's about to come. I'm going to drop both these back to back, um, but my next video, I'm going to have about some PV, not PVP, some Armada action taking place. Again, my strategy moving forward is not so much getting the tier three. Uh, excuse me, getting the G3 epic ships is staying with my Gladius uh, going as far as I can with okay, i, I give you a cracker in a minute, okay um, going as far as I can with it and then just increase my research as much as I can because that's the only thing that makes sense that I can close the gap is by again doing the research because uh, just recently a guy hit my base uh, he come by hit my base pretty pretty often because I don't put my shields up. He don't even try to raid me, but he just got me hit me like, what's up? <laughs> so, but he's like a level 43. Yeah, you can see on my gameplay, I'm 35. He came and hit me with his Enterprise and it said his shield health was 13 minutes. So I sent him a message because we chit chat. I say, how you get your shield health for 13 million? Like, did you have like an exo comp on? He said, no, I just came and hit you regular. And it was like, shield 13 his whole health was a million, which didn't really make a lot of sense, but his shield health was at 13 million. Like, how am I supposed to be that? So again, my logic is research, research, research. But next video, you're going to see uh, Armada action. Again, and research has to play into this because I don't use any exo comps. You'll be able to confirm that through seeing that it's not activated. Uh, so no, don't, don't tear the crayon paper. You use it to color. Just color. But, uh, yeah, you'll see on the next video. No, also, on this video, uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Who did it? No, who did it? You can't even have it. Go watch Daniel the Tiger Neighborhood. Uh, but, <clears throat> also, I'm showing some, uh, another person who came hit my base. You see his name is Piercer, level 46. Came and hit with his Valdor. I'm just kind of going through some battle while, you know, taking them up. But, like, man, again, the only thing I can think of is research, research, research to try to close the gap. So, yeah, holler back at your boy. Please leave some feedback below. What do you think about Gyron, HD Wharf, and Lorca as a setup? Again, I was thinking Gyron, you know, he's a new character, got the, uh, the uh, energy, he comes 50% energy damage, but you add Wharf to the side. 
he goes to 60% and then he gives you that 200% on, I don't know what it is. Um, and then you got Lorca doing the uh, hole breach, a uh, 50% hole breach each round, and then Worf uh, hitting you with the criticals up front. So that's what that's my go-to on my uh, Centurion right now until I find something a little bit better. Uh, I do try something else, though. I'll tell y'all what that is. I try still sticking on the Centurion. I do Gowron as captain. I do uh, Rare Saru on the side. And then I've been trying to figure out who's the other person to put on, who to have the other side character. I've been doing Worf. Um, but I'm thinking I need somebody else with some more damage because the Centurion don't be here. But I'm thinking, guy, I mean, a guy run with the energy boost. The rule takes away the energy from the opponent in PvP. So I'm thinking I need somebody else uh, pumping up the damage. So maybe I might try Lorca. Or maybe I stay with Worf. I don't know. I need somebody to put, pump that damage. If y'all got any suggestions, drop that below. Or if, if I need to just scrap that whole setup, like, do that don't work. <laughs> Leave that below, too. Let your boys know. Might try something different. All right, then holler back. Don't forget to watch the next one. Hit the like, hit the subscribe down. Holler back. I can't stop the video. There we go.